Hey yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I decided to go out to my local Target to search for sports cards. I've been super busy lately, so I haven't had a lot of time to search for sports cards. So I decided to pop into one over by my house and got lucky and found some cards. All I was able to find was Topps Chrome 2020. Some of the boxes and the cello packs was all I saw. Um, I was able to grab a few of those for a video. I don't know if you guys have seen this or heard about this, but they do have these signs up that now say um, three per guest. That seems to be something that's um, happening all across all targets from now on. So I don't think it's a bad thing. I just grabbed three products. Personally, I'm not the type of person who buys a ton of stuff. So uh, it doesn't really affect me. But uh, I know a lot of people are going to probably be frustrated with that. But I think it'll kind of level the playing field, give more people an opportunity to find cards. I think the only reason I was able to find these was because there was a limit. I did on the ground see uh, uh, a empty box of the value packs of Optic. So I have yet to get any Optic. Um, I wasn't trying super hard to find this stuff. Uh, I know people get to this particular location at like 10 o'clock and line up and wait for cards. Uh, just, I don't have time for that right now. So just got to get creative, try to hit places at the right time and find stuff. I think this new limit on cards is going to help a lot of people probably find stuff. The good stuff will probably be gone, but at least there's something on the shelves that I can open some stuff for the channel. So can't complain. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into those three boxes or the two boxes and the one cello pack that I was able to pick up. So here we go. All right, guys, so here it is. Some local Target finds two of these Topps Chrome update boxes and then one of the cello packs. Um, as, I don't know if you've seen one of my other, my last video uh, where I opened the hanger boxes. Those are crazy, man. I had a lot of luck with those. So, so far I've had pretty good luck with Topps Chrome update. So uh, when I see it, I grab it. Um, I'm a fan of it. I like the obviously the look the design. I know there's not a, lo a lot of huge cards in this set But there's some good ones for sure and um, I mean, I just like opening stuff. This is a nice product to open so mine as well So let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna be looking for autos super fractors um, This is probably my least favorite format honestly, but the fact that it's only $20 is pretty solid so uh, Hey, I'll take it man. Whatever I can get I will take so I'm gonna pop the wrap off of these. While I'm doing this, if you guys don't mind hitting the like button on this video and subscribing to the channel, I would really appreciate that. Let's see if we can uh, get some more crazy stuff. I have seen a decent amount of autos out of these. There's a really good auto checklist. I haven't gotten anything crazy yet, but there are definitely some good autos that can be had empty box. I'm just going to open both. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and open all this stuff and we'll save the pink pack for last. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so my target, I'm assuming they probably had hoops. Looked like they had optic. I saw an empty box of optic and then they probably had um, some top series one as well. And it looks like people grabbed all of that and left this stuff behind. This is the last on the list of things that people are looking for. But that's all right with me. So here's a good stack of packs. Let's get into it. First pack. Here we go. All right. Rookie on top, Ian Miller. Behind the, oh no, Game of Numbers, Mike Piazza. Another rookie, Johnny Davis. And a Ichiro. So looking for some of those refractors, number cards, number 250. Those are pretty sweet. Mike Mustauskas. Sterling Marte or Starling Marte. Jesus Aguilar. And Alec Mills rookie card. I'll be interested to see kind of long term if any of these rookies from this set actually pop off and, and do well. Um, you never know, man. Everybody writes sets off early on and then they look back like, damn, I wish I would have bought more of that. Kevin Pilar, Jesus Luzardo, Decades Next, Jared Dyson, 
and Nico Horner rookie debut. So, so far, a good amount of rookies. I haven't been the biggest fan of these boxes. Um, just, I like the parallels that come in the hangers and the cello packs. Brock Holt, nice Kyle Lewis, rookie debut. Nestor Cortez, rookie, and Ken Griffey Jr. So, like I said earlier, I'm a fan of the limits at Target. It just slows the process down a little bit and gives more people an opportunity to find cards. There's a Mike Trout on top and a Shohei Decades Next. Not a rookie. Clayton Kershaw and Anthony Rizzo. I wasn't totally sure. I've kind of I've seen people talk about it online. I'm not sure if it's three items per product or if it's just three sports cards all together. But I've heard it's like built into the, the checkout machines. Like if you try to scan more, it won't do it. Joey Votto, Aaron Judge, Cameron Maben, and the Rich Hill. We started out hot with the rookies, but definitely cooled off with that stuff. Aristides, rookie debut, another Mike Piazza. Chris Bryant and Acuna Jr. So nothing crazy so far. Maybe this is why we're leaving these. <laughs> Nick Turley rookie. A lot of pitcher rookies in this set. Cy Sneed, Yadier Molina, and Albert Pujols. Still good looking cards, man. Beautiful set. Love opening this stuff. Eric Mia. Rookie, Walker Bueller, Decades Next, Johnny Davis, and Ichiro. Starting to run into some of the same cards now. Let's see if we can get an auto. This is a good amount. Todd Frazier, CJ Cron, Aguilar, and Alec Mills start starting to repeat itself now. Well, this pack is a little thicker. Oh. Something backwards. All right, Tyler Heineman, rookie on top. Cody Stashek, rookie. Stashek. Starlin Castro, and we got an autograph. Let's see who it is. Sideways. For the Reds. Russell Iglesias. Iglesias. IS26. Interesting auto. Never seen this guy's card or heard of this guy. Been playing for a while. Nice. We'll take it. Take an autograph. Um. Yeah, the autos are pretty common out of this stuff. Um, there are some big names on the checklist, but obviously there's some kind of, you know, lesser known guys on the checklist as well. Ian Miller, Gly Gliber Torres, Josh Taylor, rookie, and Jonathan Villar. And Mike Wostowskis, Starling Marte, David Price, the guy I got the one on one of, and Luis Robert. Very nice. Take that. Oh, Luis Robert, Kyle Lewis, an autograph. Kevin Pilar, a game of numbers, Roberto Clemente, Andrew McCutcheon, and Javier Baez. So we have three more packs left, and then we'll get into the pink refractors. John Carlos Stanton, David Ortiz, Ryan Howard, Cal Ripken Jr. Nothing in that pack. These are the cello packs now. So these are from the cello pack. All-star game, Derek Jeter. Nice bow of shit. Doing really well on the rookies with this stuff. Zach Green. And Dario Agrizal. All right, last pack here. Feels thicker for sure. 
We got a refractor. All right. Pedro Martinez. Kenta Medea. I think all the refractors are numbered in these. I'm not totally sure, though. Hunter Pence. And... Cole Calhoun, numbered to 250. Very nice. So these have a lot of potential, man. Like, if you get one of these, one of the top rookies, even if it's a debut, numbered to 250, a sweet refractor. There's a lot of potential in this set, honestly. There's also a lot of dud cards as well. So here's the two pink refractor cards. Zach Wheeler and... Zach Davies, a couple Zachs. One with an H, one with a K. <laughs> All right, that'll do it for this. That's pretty good, look at that. Comparing the two stacks there, really, really close. I'll take that all day. Good amount of rookies, a couple parallels, one number card, got an auto. Luis Robert, Bo Bichette. Got an autograph, a numbered card, so a couple of hits. I'll take it, man. Not bad at all for a little random trip to Target. Hopefully things will, hopefully this limit will kind of cool things down. Um, maybe deter some of the flippers. It's kind of a waste of time if you're not able to get a ton of stuff. So it might help. It might work. We'll see. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.